After seeing the trailer for Matt Reeves' The Batman at DC Fandom, we now have a greater understanding of the film's direction and tone. This new take on the iconic character appears to be taking a far more grounded and realistic approach to anything we have seen before, even more so than that of the Christopher Nolan Batman movies. Matt Reeves has made it clear that his version of the character will focus more on the detective side of the character, something that we haven't seen too much of in previous incarnations. Whilst there still appears to be room for Batman to fight the bad guys, in particular, this Batman seems far more brutal. I'm vengeance. The detective side of the character will allow us to have a new and interesting take on the villains from Batman's rogues gallery. As we have seen in the trailer already, the Riddler is not some camp flamboyant man leaving riddles dressed in green. He is some form of a serial killer who leaves riddles as clues to his next victims. Very different to what I was expecting. Even Colin Farrell's Penguin and Zoe Kravitz's Catwoman are not covered in their iconic garbs. Penguin appears to just be an overweight mobster with a slightly deformed face. No top hat or spinning umbrella here. And Catwoman appears to just be a burglar. Sure, the Badaclava has something resembling cat ears, but she is not wearing the tight leather cat suit, brandishing claws and a whip. No, these villains are realistic. As Matt Reeves is likely to develop his own trilogy and extended universe, we already know about his prequel Gotham PD TV show, we are likely to see more and more of Batman's rogue gallery appearing in future installments. Because of this, I doubt we'll be getting some of the weird, magical, or cosmic villains that the character has taken on from the comic books. So I want to look at a few villains that I think will be suitable for this new Matt Reeves trilogy. We can't not bring up Batman's arch nemesis now, can we? There have been several rumours going around about Joker appearing in the first movie. Rumours have suggested that Joaquin Phoenix will reprise his role, or Reeves is looking at casting Johnny Depp as the crazed clown. Nothing is concrete yet though. I think the 2019 movie, Joker, will always be its own thing, so I assume that rules him out. Also, that version of the Joker takes place in the 1980s, and Reeves' Batman film does appear to take place in the modern day. I think Joker will be used in this new trilogy at some point. The character is so iconic and is a character that can be portrayed as a murderous psychopath quite easily. However, we have seen a lot of Joker over the last few years, so maybe he will sit out this trilogy. If not, I would recommend casting Willem Dafoe as the Joker. He seems to be a fan favourite among the internet, and he worked with Robert Pattinson on The Lighthouse last year. The two have great chemistry. We'll see what happens with this one. Now, the Court of Owls are a fairly new set of villains in the Batman canon, only having debuted in the comics back in 2011. But from what we have seen in the trailer, this set of Illuminati-esque villains working behind the scenes of Gotham would fit in perfectly into what we have seen so far for Matt Reeves' trilogy. The Court of Owl runs Gotham behind the scenes and raised children to become assassins called Talons. With the Riddler going after the corrupt officials in Gotham City, it would make sense to introduce these characters, maybe not in the first film, but I sure think they will show up at some point. It would also be good to get a set of villains we haven't seen on the big screen before. Sure, Batman films always go with the classic villain like the Joker. Maybe something new is what we need in this trilogy. And I think many others already think they would fit perfectly. There was even speculation that they appeared in the trailer. Now you may be thinking, there's no way Mr Freeze could be portrayed realistically in the movie. You think back to Arnold Schwarzenegger in Batman and Robin when you imagine the character on the big screen. Despite this, Mr Freeze is a very compelling villain but not something you could do realistically. However, I have an idea. As we have seen the reimagination of the Riddler already, maybe Freeze could get a reimagining too. Make him a serial killer who kills his victims with liquid nitrogen, perhaps. He doesn't need to have a gigantic robotic suit to keep him cold. It is obvious that Reeves' movies are going for a far more realistic approach. Doing something along these lines could make the character work in this new film universe.
Firefly is another villain we have not got on the big screen yet. He wouldn't exactly fit into this grounded universe, but like Freeze, I think they could make him work. This version of Batman is a detective, and instead of having him chase Firefly, a character that's most often portrayed with a jetpack and a flamethrower, simply make him an arsonist. There has been some leaked behind the scenes stills showing the Gotham Fire Department playing a major role in the movie. We know that the film could potentially show up to six of Batman's rogues gallery in the first film alone. Perhaps he will appear in this movie, or if not, making him a serial arsonist that Batman must track down would work in a future Batman film. Batman in this version is a detective after all. Professor Pig is another new villain having only been introduced in 2007 by Grant Morrison. The character uses drugs, lobotomy and doll masks permanently moulded onto people's faces to turn them into genderless dolotrons, which he believes are perfect human beings. The character is clearly insane and the sort of character that would fit in more realistically to this version of the Batman mythos. The character has a pig mask, medical scrubs and a butcher's apron. He could be one of the most terrifying villains we've ever seen on the screen, especially if these films are going to have a higher rating, like an R rating, as opposed to PG-13. I think he would fit perfectly into these films, and I do hope this villain is considered. Whilst I'm sure Matt Reeves could take even the strange villains such as Man-Bat or Clayface and create a realistic interpretation for this Batman to take on, I think my suggestions are the most likely that we will get to see in this new trilogy of movies. I am keen to know what villains you would like to see in the new Batman universe and how they would fit into a more grounded and detective driven story. Please let me know in the comments which villains you would like to see. Please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to click the bell icon to get notifications for all my videos. Thanks for tuning in.